All right, today we're gonna to be looking at a uh, windshield repair. Got a rock chip that uh, threw downwards. See down to the end of the windshield here. And then went all the way up and across, unfortunately. Got a little ice chest lid there so you can see how bad it is. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. So uh, I'm gonna to try to do is, got this Rain-X windshield repair kit and uh, what I really want to do is stop it from growing into the driver's side uh, so that we can still pass inspection so I've never used this before but uh, it says it repairs cracks up to 12 inches we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes is everything that comes in the kit we've got a little suction thing got a screw I think goes in there We've got repair resin and then some instructions. All right, looks like there's also uh, inside of the instructions a razor blade and these uh, clear plastic films that when I opened the instructions fell on the ground and got all dirty. So hopefully that doesn't screw everything up. But just heads up if you buy this kit and you're opening the instructions, uh, there's a bunch of stuff inside of there as well. All right, so right through the directions and they're pretty simple for cracks. Um, basically, all I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't get to use that cool thing. That's just for, uh, you know, for the star cracks, uh, chips and bullseyes and stars. But for long cracks, I don't even use this. Uh, basically, all I'm gonna do is clean off the crack area, um, squeeze this resin along the crack, and then uh, put these plastic strips over it and let it dry. A couple of things to do beforehand. Uh, it does specifically say to do this in a shaded area. Uh, so this car has been under the carport for a couple of hours now. Um, so it's nice and cool. Uh, well, it's 100 degrees outside, but um, at least it's not in the sun. But um, it does say that uh, you should be out of the sun. You wanna wipe it first with a dry paper towel and uh, finally it says that uh, it, it doesn't really work for cracks larger than 12 inches in length and if you see what I've done here I put some blue tape on the inside of the windshield just to help kind of visualize the crack uh, then I put this piece of tape on the outside and measured uh, from that edge down to here is 22 inches so this whole crack is probably you know 22 probably like 30 inches for the whole thing uh, but since this says not to use on more than 12 inches, I'll, uh, I'll just try to focus on the first 12 inches starting on that end towards the driver's side and uh, see how it goes. Alright, so I wiped it with a dry paper towel. I'm going to open my bottle up, just cut the tip off with the blade that was included. And then just apply it to the crack. Uh, it does say to apply it slowly uh, and as you go you should be putting a little bit of pressure and kind of squeezing on it and uh, you should be seeing the crack disappear as you go it says to take about three seconds per centimeter so it's a slow process so what I'm doing is uh, I'm looking at it at a 45 degree angle squeezing a little bit and just kind of working the bottle and uh, I'm seeing the crack disappear so hopefully it's a good sign All right, so I ended up going about 18 to 20 inches in total. Um, I think I still have a little bit of resin left in the bottle. 
the directions say to wait five or ten minutes um, and then see if the air comes out of the cracks completely if it does not in five or ten minutes you can go inside and just lightly push on the glass from the inside out and uh, that that kind of helps some of the air bubbles come out so I am seeing some air so I'll, I'll let it sit for about five minutes and then go inside and, and give it a little push here you can see still see the crack definitely better than it was you know, stopped right about there you can kind of see where I stopped with the resin so it's better than it was the main thing I'm trying to do here again is stop it from spreading um, if I can do that I'll be happy so it's been about five minutes I'm inside the car again I just have this tape on here so that you could see better from the outside the crack but pull that back from the inside you can still you can still see the crack it's still definitely visible um, but like it said I'm gonna just kind of push on the glass a little bit just lightly pushing on it with my thumb it says don't push too hard because you can uh, make the crack worse so I'm almost just uh, massaging it you would say just to try to work some of those air bubbles out so we'll see how that helps what I'm thinking about doing is I might actually run back to the store and get another one of these and uh, go ahead and use the injector to put into the uh, the main star and just do the whole thing I'll probably go do that real quick all right so we uh, we pushed on the inside a little bit try to get some of the air out um, the next step is to uh, reapply some resin to the length of the crack uh, and then once you do that go ahead and put those clear plastic strips on so I'm gonna go ahead and, and reapply resin to uh, reapply it to what I've already applied All right, I went rogue. Uh, I had a little bit left over in the bottom when I got to the uh, actual crack, so I went ahead and set up this uh, system. I suctioned down to the thing, centered on the uh, bullseye. I screwed this piece in, squirted the rest of the resin I had left. Now I'm going to put this plunger in and screw this down, because why not? So here we go. This is going to squeeze resin into the bullseye crack. All right, once you screw that in, you're supposed to wait about five minutes, so uh, we'll let it wait. Here's a view from the inside. Definitely looks like it uh, made it into the uh, bullet. You can't really see. All right, back to the crack. After you've kind of massaged the air out, um, you're supposed to go back with these little sh these little sheets that fell out all over the ground and uh, cover up all the areas of the crack. So I'll go ahead and apply those now. says to make sure to uh, get all the air out underneath it too so that's what we're gonna do five minutes you're supposed to unscrew this just the outer portion and let any air out I might have collected Make sure that's still snug and then drive this back in to uh, just kind of re-inject if you let some air out. It should be kind of snug. You don't want to go too hard because then you might deform the glass. 
Okay, once you do that, then you can go ahead and take it all off. So, so it's just to give this half a turn, both the uh, plunger and the uh, resin tube. Just to let the pressure off of it. And then pull the plungers off, these little tabs. Pretty easy. Okay, put that to the side. Put a little bit more resin on the uh, bullseye crack. I'm just about out because I went way more than 12 inches like it said and then uh, apply your uh, last sheets like we did on the crack it's actually looking pretty good right now we'll see how it uh, turns out So it actually gave you enough glass sheets to do a really long crack. It's kind of interesting. Um, so I think my entire crack was probably, you know, upwards of 30 inches. So seemed like we had enough resin and enough of these sheets and everything to do a really long crack, but definitely not what the instructions recommended. So we'll see how it turns out. So basically, at this point, you just put these on. Try to work all the air out around the cracks and then uh, drive it out into the sunlight for it to cure. For cure, I'm going to go back with my towel and just kind of wipe up any excess resin. Um, after it cures, you got to go over it with a razor blade and scrape it. So, uh, just to minimize the amount of scraping out the deal, I'm going to just wipe up what I can. So, as you can see on my strips, there's, there's you know, some air bubbles here and there. Um, I mostly just try to focus on squeezing the air out along the actual crack everywhere. But, um, you know, if this doesn't work great, I've got a couple things going against me. I used, uh, did a crack about twice as long as I should have, maybe three times. Um, I didn't squeeze all the air out of it, so we'll see how it turns out once I pull it onto the sun, let her dry. All right, so we let it out in the sun for about uh, 15 or 20 minutes. As you can see, it's a very sunny day here. Um, so after that, you can peel off the uh, plastic strips. Uh, it just says that if it's still wet, to uh, leave it back in the sun, but uh, this is definitely dry. So it says to peel all these off. And that bullseye looks a lot better. Um, but anyways, I'm going to peel these off, and then once you peel them all off, it says to take the razor blade, which is included, uh, and scrape it at a 90 degree angle, so perpendicular like this, and just scrape it hard. It says don't be soft with it, scrape it hard. I'm supposed to, uh, you know, scrape up this white kind of powdery stuff, so I'm going to take all these plastic strips off, scrape it and then uh, report back and see how it looks. So I was scraping it by hand and it's, it's coming off good, but um, it's kind of hard on the thumbs. Um, I bought this years ago, I have no idea why. Uh, I just remembered I had it, so I'm actually gonna try to use this. It looks like it'll be uh, it'll be perfect for it. So, One thing I did notice is, uh, you know, my crack goes this way. It's definitely a lot easier to, and I think better to scrape it along the direction of the crack instead of, uh, you know, side to side like that. Because I did catch the crack, I felt a couple of times. So definitely uh, scrape along the length of the crack.
All right, so we got it all cleaned off. I blew it off, wiped it down with the uh, rag, and hey, it does look a lot better, uh, not gonna lie. You can still see the crack, but um, but it's a lot less noticeable. One thing I will notice, or will say, is uh, right where the bullseye is, again, it you know looks a lot better, but uh, I did take a chunk out of it when I was scraping, uh, so be careful with the scraper. Um, I think what I'll have to end up doing is going and, and getting some more of that resin to fill that uh, fill that chip because I can uh, I can hang a fingernail in there now. But um, besides that, you know that little scraping tool helped out a lot. We'll pull the tape off, see how it looks. So it's definitely less noticeable. Still definitely see it. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera or not. There it goes. I mean, it's still there um, But it does look better less noticeable hopefully uh, Hopefully it stops it from growing anymore We'll see um, I'll uh, I'll try to update in the comments if it uh, keeps growing or not Thanks for watching